Hello, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Modern Monday. So what brewery have we got for you on this Monday? And it is another Manchester brewery, another local brewery to me. And this one is Runaway Brewery. Now, Runaway Brewery, uh, founded in 2014 by Mark Wellsby. Um, they're based in the northern part of Manchester, just outside well, just a northern part of the city centre, I'd say. And uh, in 2023, around about spring, they're going to be moving into a uh, building in Stockport, just in Stockport Town Centre, and they're going to be putting their brewery in there and also a tap room. And what they did have just before Christmas, uh, because they've already started to do this, they did like a pop-up tap room in that building, and I went along and it was absolutely superb. Um, they had a pizza company doing like stone-baked pizza, wood-fired pizzas, and it was absolutely fantastic. Me and Mrs. B had a, a good uh, hour or two in there, enjoying the beers. And I'm uh, looking forward to moving uh, into that uh, brewery come spring 2023. So let's get the beer open. This one is their Runaway Brewery American Brown Ale coming in at 5.7%. That's a Runaway Brewery Brown Ale, 5.7%. I have had this um, on keg uh, back in August, and it was fantastic. And I'm really looking forward to this. Um, when I had it then, it had it's like a little bit of roast, a little bit of toffee and citrus. It was just really good. And I'm hoping it carries over to the bottle. I think it's bottle conditioned. Yeah, it's a bottle conditioned beer as well. So, so the bottle conditioned beer, notice how I've got my glasses on now. Um, it says unfiltered and unpasteurized, store upright, and for a clear beer, pour carefully to leave the yeast in the bottle. Serve cold. Contains water, barley, wheat, hops, and yeast. 330ml bottle, best before August 2023. American Brown Ale. Let's get it in the glass before I read the back of there. And I'll tell you a little bit about this uh, brewery as well. Really looking forward to it, like I say. Just a black cap. Put into the glass. Let's just see out that nice dark. Well, just off dark brown, I'd say. It's not black. Let's leave that a little bit there in the bottle. There you go. You can see it's like a um, what's that? It's like a nut brown. Um, when you think of uh, like chestnuts, that sort of brown. It just looks stunning in the glass. It really does. It's got a little bit of amber going on in there as well. Looks good. It's got a head. It's got the nice, creamy, tight forming, just off white head, which looks great. So that looks absolutely fantastic. Let's get the aroma. If you can hear a noise in the background, it's the air fryer because uh, we've got um, tea cooking as well at the moment. So I'm picking up on that lovely, what I'd say is like orange. Oh, it's like chocolate orange liqueur, if that makes sense. Really citrusy. A little bit of the malts coming through there, a little bit sweet. But overall that orange is punching through, that citrus orange which is just amazing. Smells fantastic, it really does. Okay, so a little bit about the brewery. Uh, it's like I said, they're in Manchester, they're going to be moving into Stockport. They're independently owned, they're small batch brewers. They say that their beer is great tasting modern British beer. Um, the recipes are based on traditional beers with modern interpretations. They bought this one. Um, they do in bottles, do IPAs, do pails, ESB, Saison, the brown ale, they do porters, and they do a farmhouse beer. I've got that as well. Uh, keg and cask, they've also got a core range of pails, IPAs. ESBs and they do lots of seasonal and collab beers. Um, yeah, nothing much more to say there. And like I say, the founder is Mark Wellsby. So let's get a taste of this beer. Okay, cheers. It just takes me back to when I tried it. You've got the citrus bouncing around, but as well as that citrus, you've got this roasty, toasty, brown bread, flavoured from the malts. It's got a nice bitterness. It's not overly bitter, not at all overly bitter. It's quite a complex bitterness, I'd say, because it goes onto the tongue, it lingers, 
and then it goes away and it get this malt flavor like i say roast more toast brown bread flavors and then you're getting this orange like marmalade very similar to how i explain a good esb but a bit more american if that makes sense them hops just make it a bit more american and it is absolutely delicious for me it's an easy free bees going again you're getting toffee you get sweet and again that bitterness is just over the top of the tongue long lasting goes around the back and goes away and then you're left with a sweet malt again <sighs> That is a cracker. It really, really is a cracker from Runaway. Let's see if it says anything on the bottle. I'll pour the rest of it in as well, because uh, I don't mind that if that goes in there. A little bit of sediment. Nothing wrong with that at all. Um, is there anything on here as well? Doing it right since 2014. We wanted to brew great modern beer. The kind of beer we would enjoy drinking and making. Because brewing isn't just about the end product it's about the process the journey so it's worth doing right runaway brewery at the moment it's on Dan Dancit street manchester and it's www.therunawaybrewery.com on twitter it is at runaway brewery and that is he's brilliant so i'm sat here now and i'm getting more of that bitterness it feels like the bitterness goes over the tongue then you get the sweet malts then you're getting that orange, that citrus, and then when it's long lasting, that bitterness comes back again. And it's making you want to go back to the beer. Because it's got a dryness, which is just making me want to go back into there. Let's go again. It's so complex, it's, it's superb, it really is for a brown ale. American brown ales, it's light, It's lighter than, it's not a dark brown. Um, like I say, it's more of that like chestnut, uh, brown it's just superb it really is okay thanks for watching cheers and i'll see you on the next one